what's going on guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we're taking a look at this spigen neoflex optical film screen protector for the samsung s22 ultra so let's go ahead and get it out of the box and show you the installation process so inside the box you're going to get two of the screen protectors you're getting a microfiber cloth as well as some dust removing stickers um, and a squeegee as well as this solution that you're going to use to apply the screen protector so first i'm just going to wipe down the phone with the microfiber cloth and use the dust removing stickers to remove any lint or debris from the screen so next we're going to take this solution and spray it on both of our hands and then we're also going to spray it on the back of the screen protector and then from there we can take the screen protector line it up with the phone get it in place and then use the squeegee to remove the excess solution So after you use the squeegee to kind of squeeze out all of the solution, uh, you want to go ahead and let it sit and dry completely for a few minutes. Um, and then after that, we'll kind of test out the fingerprint sensor and um, kind of get a look at the screen protector and see how well it covers the screen. So after you allow everything to dry, they do recommend resetting your fingerprint sensor. But as you can see, even though I haven't reset mine, mine is working with no issue. So you might get lucky like me. Otherwise, if you do experience issues, just go ahead and reset it. Uh, but really quick, I just wanna show you guys the bottom of the screen protector. So you can see it comes a little bit short. I would have liked it if it um, made it all the way to the bottom of the screen. And I did see a few comments about that in the, uh, the Amazon reviews. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind with this screen protector. Uh, I think the sizing could be just a little bit better. And then let's see if we can get a close up of the edges so you can see how far the edges extend. So it's a little bit short on the edges there as well. So overall, it seems a little bit too small, um, but nonetheless, this is how you install it um, if you decide to pick one up. So hopefully this video was helpful. If so, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.